Hey, Lane, thanks for your time. Uh, how are you physically uh, this week? And, uh, you know, it's been one thing after another this year. What's this year been like for you dealing with so many injuries and, and just trying to get on the field and stay on the field? Uh, it's been difficult trying to, you know, play at a high level. Really just anxiety of, um, you know, the whole process. But it's part of the game. It's something I knew that I would struggle with throughout the year. It's just something that's continually, um, you know, I hadn't improved much. And so for that look of the of my season, it's done. And uh, probably be maybe a four-month recovery, five-month recovery. But essentially from all the high ankle sprains and – damage I've had done to my ankles, really kind of a repair of the deltoid ligament. So it's, it's like the inside of my ankle has collapsed. And so a lot of my power and my push off that I normally have isn't there. And so uh, that's really where I'm at. And yeah, early in the year, I had some difficulties with, uh, it's kind of like a stress fracture was forming um, from the tightrope uh, surgery. And so that was kind of ongoing. And then, um, yeah, just more of the same. Had some had been rolled up on a few times, and at times where I thought I was making progress, and ended up getting rolled up a few times, and ended up setting it back to to where I am now. Go ahead, Ed, and then Les. Hey, Lane. Um, I guess there's a report out there that Jason's moving back to the right guard spot. I mean, how much uh, you spent a couple weeks working together this summer? Um, how do you pick up from that, and uh, how do you think that will go now, uh, three months into the season here? Uh, it's, um, you know, as far as a guy that can move inside and, and do multiple things, he can do it. I think with Pryor there, those are those are uh, two big people so far as uh, covering ground and, and being able to, to move efficiently. I think they'll be they'll be uh, working good together. Go ahead, last Hi, Really sorry to hear your news. Uh, so Matt Pryor will be the right tackle now, it seems. Uh, I believe so. Um, yeah. I haven't seen practice. They, they have practice today, so I'm, I'm not sure quite the rotation. I kind of been doing my own thing with this, but yeah. uh, that's what I what I believe. So, what with your ankle, the tightrope surgery was supposed to work. What are you happy with the way this has all worked out medically? What everyone has done and and yeah, how this I, has I feel. Progressed? As, I mean, as far as all the decisions made is my decision. I wanted to come back and play. And it is what it is. I mean, as far as rehab, we've we've done everything we've could. And like I said, there was times we were making a, a lot of good progress. And in some games, I end up getting rolled back up on, on again. So just something really you can't control. But it's it's been frustrating. And you know, I just want to get back healthy 100 percent and and not think about it and, and just uh, and play ball and, and move on from there, which is something that's been difficult for me this year. Thank you, Dave, and then Bo. Hey, Lynn, I just want to kind of clarify with the ankle. Can you just kind of take us through what exactly happened? Uh, you said there was a stress fracture building after the surgery, and can you kind of just fill us in a little bit more? Yeah, so how all this took place is whenever I got fell on in Jacksonville a couple years ago, and then Giants of the previous, was it last year? And so those two injuries kind of snowballed into this. And so the tight ropes, whenever the two bones are separated, so the ligaments are damaged or loose. And so they put those back together. The deltoid ligament is the inside of your ankle. So a lot of that damage, um, you know, causes it to loosen up. You lose a lot of strength. And as far as pushing off and things that you're normally able to do, eversion, inversion of the ankle is not uh, what it is on the right leg. And so that's that's where I'm at. And it's it's been damaged for some time and, and trying to go through it as much as I could. But... Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of knew this was going to be a difficult process trying to, you know, play. And like I said, we, we were making really good progress at times. And then, you know, football's football. It is what it is. Things happen, and, and that's really where I'm at. So does, is this something that will heal on its own, or do you need another surgery? Uh, I think I'm having another surgery. That's why I'm missing. So, yeah. Go ahead, Bo, and then Martin. Uh, it's not scheduled yet, but it will be scheduled. So I'll, I'll know more in the upcoming weeks. But, yeah, it's it's happening. Okay, thanks. Lane, what has just been your, your level of, of frustration with this season, both with, uh, you know, the way the team is playing and obviously also your uh, inability to, to stay healthy? Yeah, it's just more inability to stay healthy that's more frustrating. You get paid a contract to, to play like one of the best tackles in the league. 
you go out there and you and you, you can't finish games and you're not out there. So, you know, as far as being a setback, that that's what it is. It is what it is. People deal with injuries. It's just a matter of uh, recovering from this and then coming back, you know, fully healthy, play a season, don't worry about it, and, and get back to functioning um, normally. So that, that's the goal. And, yeah, I mean, it's, it's part of the game. People deal with injuries all the time. You see it week in, week out. It's, it's part of the game. And um, <clears throat> moving forward, I just want to get this and put this behind me. Martin and then Zach. Well, Lane, I was actually going to ask about, like, the offensive line in general. But, I mean, obviously with you now going out for the rest of the year, this will be, like, your 10th different offensive line combination in in 11 games. And, I mean, just how crazy has, has this whole thing been? I mean, not only with, with your situation, but, like, with injuries to everybody and stuff. Yeah, and it's been – it's been an awkward year, you know, especially, you know, we, we line up in the beginning of the year and, and have what you think is going to be that for the rest of the year. Isaac ends up coming coming out, tearing his MCL what, week two and have, um, you know, in and out with different players. It's just, uh, you know, one thing why Coach Stoutland takes everything so seriously, I guess, with, you know, how, how we do things around here in practicing and meetings is that he tries to prepare all these young guys to be starters. And so nobody's really any – an exception. Nobody's different. And so whenever times like these do happen, like it's happened back in 2014 or 15, where you had some shuffling and rotation, these guys can come in and, and, and try to get the job done. But for the younger players, like I said, it all comes down to experience. The more Jordan's played, the, the better he's gotten. Uh, prior, the, the more times he's, he stayed at a spot, you know, he, he's better at right, the right side than he is the left. But it's, it's just a matter of playing and and getting those games under your belt, there's nothing that can um, really substitute for that. So moving forward, you know, the game always goes on. And so, you know, these guys are continually to grow. And, you know, Kels is out there leading them. And he's dealing with some stuff too. And, you know, he's just a warrior. And, you know, he's, he's the guy that's leading, leading the troops. Well, thanks. And good luck with your surgery and all. We'll wrap it up here with Zach and then Ruben. Hey, Lane, first off, thanks for, for uh, telling us directly here and having it come from you. I appreciate that. Um, as, as far as your future, are, are, are you expecting this to, to be fixed by next season? Or do you think throughout your career this is going to be something that you have to deal with? Well, that is a big question. I guess I could tell you all more uh, coming, you know, maybe June or July, so when you're, you're ramping up. But, yeah, my, my goal is to put this behind me to where it's, it's something, you know, I don't have to think about. I don't want to be thinking about before games or or during the week. You know, if I can practice, how I'm feeling. But you know, I've seen guys come back from far worse. You've seen Brooks, you know, come back from tearing Achilles. You know, is the best guard in the league next year. So if I got any inspiration or guys to look look to around here, people in the past that that have gone through things and, and recovered, um, you know, there's guys here in the locker room to to look up to. Hi, right, Rube. What's your confidence level that you can? be in the future the player that you were at the top of your game when you were going to Pro Bowls and being an All-Pro? Do you feel like you can get back to that point? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, I think even though I was hindered this year, I feel like my power was 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 pretty good. So, But really, it doesn't matter if you can't, you know, if you're not out there for whole games, if you're not playing. So my thing is to get healthy, pay a lot of money to stay on the field and and, uh, and play. And so moving forward, that, that's that's all in my mind.